Today I'm going to be sharing how I've decorated this kind of like dining room area and into the living room for fall. I'm still kind of doing an early fall feel and then maybe closer into September or you know later into September I'll pull out some pumpkins and acorns and stuff like that and just do a heavier hand with my fall decorating. But for now I'm just really enjoying this kind of like light simple fall touches. So on the table, I'm just going to do a simple centerpiece. I did pick up this wood tray recently from Hobby Lobby during their big 75% off sale. So they may or may not still have that. But I'm just going to layer a few things, some linens and vintage dishes and some of my ironstone. And then I found this beautiful bouquet of flowers from Hobby Lobby that reminded me of fall. It was actually in the just regular greenery section, not their fall section. So I would check over where they have like the sunflowers and and pre-done bouquets if you like this one. Before I move on to decorating the living room area, I do like to stop and take a break and scroll through my Pinterest just to refresh my memory on any ideas that I had saved or anything that I wanted to recreate. So I'm going to do that and make myself a cup of cider just to get in the fall feel and I'm going to be using my new mini kettle from Bydeem. This part of the video is sponsored by Bydeem so I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you about their mini kettle. This little thing is so cool y'all, I actually love it so much. So aside from making just like regular teas or coffee or any beverage like that, you can also make things like soup, um, noodles, oatmeal, beans, and even eggs. As you saw, it comes with like a little um, kind of recipe book and guidebook and it gives you some inspiration on things you can make. I can't wait to try to make like a pho or ramen here soon for lunch. That's something I've always wanted to try making myself. So I think this little mini kettle is gonna be perfect for that. So as you can see on the bottom there, it has one side with three different options for cooking vegetables or whatever you're making. And then on the other side, it has three temperatures that you can use to heat something up or just to keep something warm, um, which is what I'm doing here. I'm making some cider and I'm just going to warm it up and the water kind of bubbles up and boils. And then once it's finished, you can just take it off the plug and carry it into the other room with you and it'll stay warm for a while. So it was perfect for me just sitting there scrolling through Pinterest, like I said, and sipping on some hot apple cider and I don't have to worry about it getting cold or running back to the kitchen to make more. So overall, I think my favorite thing about it is not only is it easy to use, but it's small and compact, so it's great for space saving, and it's portable, which makes it the perfect thing for taking camping or on a trip with you, or if you just need to pack light, um, no matter where you're going. I just think this thing is so cool, and I love this dusty mint color. This is the color Cottage Green on their website. I actually think that this would make the perfect gift. You know, the holidays are coming up, so maybe you have someone in your life that likes camping or they travel a lot and you think that this would suit their needs. I think that this would be such a thoughtful gift to pass on to someone. If you're interested in learning more about the mini kettle or by Deem and anything else they have to offer, you can find all the links down below in my description box as well as a discount code for y'all to use. Thanks again to by Deem for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to decorating. 
Up here on this shelf, this is really the only area that I can do kind of like kitchen decor, like all my vintage dishes and stuff like that. Um, so even though it leads into the living room, I still decorate it like it's a kitchen area. So I wanted to do a bunch of kind of white dishes, you know, the woods, and then mix in some copper. And then I recently found this really pretty, um, it's kind of like a platter, kind of like a brown transferware platter. And then once I do more fall stuff, I'll pull out my little like pumpkin pie dish that I love. What you see inside this colander are these, I guess, dried gourds that I had found thrifting a while back. So I just have those in there for now. And then once I find some pumpkins that I like, I'll probably put a few of those in here just to make it feel more fall when the time comes.
So now I'm just going to be adding some fall touches um, just by kind of dressing up the couch a little bit and decorating that little nightstand. I did already do the mantle, so if you missed that video, I'll link it above and down below in the description. I did an early fall mantle look if you want to check that out. But like I said, I'm going to start by um, moving over to this little nightstand. This is actually an old sewing table, but I like to have it here next to this chair. It's kind of like my little makeshift cozy corner. So this throw blanket that I'm adding, I actually got this at Target last year um, during fall. I haven't been to Target yet, so I'm not sure what they have out. I do need to stop by, so they may or may not still have this one. And then the pillow I'm adding is actually a pillow cover that I got last year on Amazon. I'll have that link down below in case you're interested. So y'all know that I struggle with this kind of like wall nook that came with this house. I still haven't found the perfect thing to put here. I'm hoping to find like a really cool long vintage or antique mirror. But for now, I just added one that I found at the thrift store recently. And then I'm going to stack up some vintage books and this really beautiful um, kind of like patinaed champagne bucket that I love so much. And you'll see that I'm actually using another vase to hold these florals. Um, just to hold them better in there. I got these dried florals from Hobby Lobby just the other day. I got two bundles of them. I think they're so pretty. This kind of like mix of a tan and deep burgundy. They were before the discount $20. So if I can find them online, I'll have them linked down below. So now I'm going to do really the bare minimum when it comes to the couch. As you can see, the dogs did not want to move. So I normally would move their little dog blanket that they love laying on and add more decorative throws and pillows, but I didn't want to disturb them. It was raining this day, so they were really sleepy. But anyways, I'm going to add another throw blanket. This one I think is from probably Marshalls or something. I think I got that last year. And then these pillows that I'm adding are my favorite thing that I've purchased this season for fall. I'll have them linked down below. They're from Amazon. They were only like 13 something for two of them. And they're just the pillow covers. And I guess I have like down feather pillows inside of them. So that always makes everything look much more better. But they come up more bright on camera, but they're like a really beautiful kind of camel color. They're velvet and I just love the ruffles. I think they're gorgeous. Thank you. 
some of you may notice that this is a different coffee table. I finally got rid of that other one and this is just a makeshift table that I found on Marketplace. As you can see there's some damage on top but I like it way better than the other one and it'll do for now. So that is going to wrap up today's decorating video. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I hope this gave you at least a little inspiration to kind of kickstart your own fall decorating. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe and I will talk to y'all in my next video.